Talking about money, it can be a touchy topic for couples. How much do you save? How much do you spend? Well, there's some steps you can take to reduce those arguments. And News Channel 5's Mike Trim has tips to avoid the top five financial mistakes couples make. Money fights. They're considered the number one reason for divorces. Two people with two different visions of how money should be spent can cause plenty of problems. Just listen to financial expert Sherry Olofsson. We're coming as adults to our relationship about money with the baggage that we learned as children from our mother and our father. So when you're talking about a couple, you're multiplying that times two, and it can get pretty complicated. Olofsson helped us create the top five ways couples can avoid financial mistakes, starting with... Number one, dealing with debt. Debt is like a disease. And it really, you're dealing with a patient. You're dealing with something that's going to be life changing if you don't know exactly how you're going to resolve it. Smartmoney.com ranked this as the number one reason couples argue. In most cases, one person has more debt than the other. And your significant other's debt can affect things you buy, like a house or a car. Olofsson suggests work as a team, pay down your debt together. Number two, merging finances. Only 14% of married couples do not have a joint bank account. That's according to Smart Money, and its experts recommend merging a little bit at a time because by the time a mortgage and children come into the picture, a joint bank account can be much easier to balance. Number three, build up an emergency fund. This is especially important here in South Florida as we are no stranger to rapid changes in the job market and also a major disaster like a hurricane. You want to build up about six to nine months of reserve funds because when a disaster hits, it can be stressful and it can be a tipping point for some couples. Number four, don't keep money secrets. Our financial expert says this happens a lot. In fact, a smartmoney.com survey shows 36% of men and 40% of women recently lied about the price of a purchase. Ladies, it might be that pair of shoes you just bought. Fellas, it might be that jersey you just bought. Our financial expert has a simple solution. And rather than keep secrets, why not have both spouses simply have a line item on that budget, which is their secret spending. And they, it's an agreed amount, and they can do whatever they want with it. Number five, budget together. When one person doesn't think about what the other is spending, it can weigh down a relationship. Be on the same page. Use a spreadsheet. Write down everything you spend and work as a team. So one of the things that you want to make sure is that you're not, you don't become one of these spouses that just completely checks out about the finances and has no idea what's really going on. Use these five tips to lighten the stress load and make finances a strong point of your relationship. I'm Mike Trim, WPTV News Channel 5.